Hey everybody, I'm going to show you really quick what I purchased at Walmart. I've gotten uh, notepads and different things like that for school that starts next week, starts Tuesday. And um, But some of these things were actually given to me. Um, each stack here was given to my children from our church. Each child got a bag of goodies for school. Uh, so, oh, now I'm losing them. So they've got uh, crayons, colored pencils, um, markers, pencils, an eraser, two notepads, and two folders. And each child got the same, so that would be Easton's, Colton's, um, Alyssa, my daughter, and then my oldest son. And my oldest son, who's in high school, got that extra in his a book cover. Um, and then I went to Walmart today, and I purchased some goodies for school. Got my daughter a metal protractor and compass set. Uh, we've got some notepads, just the 25 cent notepads. Um, nothing too special there, but then I did find these, and actually it was kind of hard to find these because they're usually marked anywhere $2 to $7, depending on how many um, subject. This is one sub subject notebook, but obviously they go up to three and five. Um, but I found these for 97 cents, and they are the well-made ones. So very, very pretty colors. So I got these two. And then, of course, I always buy crowns um, when I can get them pretty cheap because we go through crowns quite a bit. Um, I purchased some note cards, um, the kids to use for studying and to mark for their notes. And then I got these large ones. And I'm going to use these for our, our memory verses. I've got a new way that I want to try to work with the kids on our weekly memory verses. So um, I've got these big note cards for that. I've got two sets of those. And then these were only 97 cents each. Obviously my four-year-old will not need it, but he was there with me and of course he wanted one too. So I got a different color, each one for each one of my children. I'm sure they're not the greatest. They're only 97 cents, but they're cute. It'll work. Hopefully it'll get us through the year. And then I got some uh, dry erase markers for myself and the kids. And then I got these to sit in their drawers to um, hold either their uh, pencil top erasers or their uh, paper clips or whatever they had wanted to store in their top drawer. And here to the fun stuff. I was able to find some backpacks for fairly cheap. We have backpacks when, especially when the older two uh, went to public school, but they actually wanted a couple of backpacks to use when we would go out to the park or um, we kind of go out in the backyard or to the, our local um, park here. Our little state park actually, it's pretty large. Uh, we have a pass to there. so. I went ahead and got these. Uh, this came with a set, a backpack set. So this will probably be what my daughter uses, just a little rope bag. And um, I got actually, yeah, this one I got for like $2.50 at Walmart. Or was it $2.97, something like that. Anyway, uh, so it's about three bucks. I got that for my son and I got one of these. And then I think this was my most expensive one that I got and it was only 10 bucks and it was at Walmart as well. They have really nice big uh, book bags that they have used at school and different things like that. But we didn't want to spend um, tons of money on backpacks. We probably won't use that often. Only when we go outside and um, do stuff like that for a little trip. So just something that would get us through and they could use what they had but they wanted something else so I compromised and got as cheap as possible um, this is fun so I got this whole box of goodies here I got washable kids paint and it comes in all these colors so we oh, can't see that here we go um, I got this from Walmart and then I, I got this from Walmart Alyssa remember how much this was It's probably $1.97. That's a Walmart price. But anyway, it's a dry erase uh, board that she wanted. She could stick it. I actually have one for all of the kids, and they can pull out of their drawer to um, work on things quickly. This is just a toy that I got from the Dollar Tree. It'll go in our 
uh, treasure box. It was a dollar. And then, I don't know these, how these got in here. I don't know if I showed these or not. I got some more uh, what was and where is off the who, who was or who is books. Um, this is Pearl Harbor and this is the White House. I didn't show these. <clears throat> now this is cute. Okay, so I got these two things. I got them both from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to use this and I'm going to hang it across the wall and then I'm going to use these clips on it to clip any of their art projects and things. Obviously it won't be a large art project, be you know something they've colored or painted or something small that they've made and I will hang it across the wall. So those are a dollar each. I've been dropping stuff. Got some candy for my um, my little teacher's jar. I think I showed you guys in another video that little um, ceramic apple. I've got some more colored pencils. I got these at the Dollar Tree. This is a book of planets. It goes through all the planets. It has some information there. And then this is a book of animals. And then, so your zebra, oh, they're sticking together. A harp seal, sea otter. Tells information on those. I got this from eBay, um, perfect condition. This is the World War I DKI Witness book. This is for my oldest son. Uh, in particular, this year he's asked for more World War I and II books and things. So this one will be for him. And all the other kids can use it as they get interested or get it in school. But obviously I've shown DKI Witness books before. Most of you have probably seen them. And they're awesome. I love these books. So that was that. I've got a couple of things for um, my daughter's Ancient Egypt. Um, now she's studying all kinds of stuff like that. Ancient Rome and different things like that in her curriculum. But I got... Um, some extra stuff on ancient Rome and Egypt just to add to it. Um, so I got this. I haven't even opened it yet. It's still in the plastic. This is ancient Egypt. Let's go ahead and open it. Oh, and it's fun. It's got like little activities you can do. Just try not to tear it up. Okay, so like you can open the little Oh, how cute, the photo album there. It's really pretty thick paper, obviously for these little activities. That unfolds. Well, that's cool. Shows you how they, huh, wrapping the mummy up. And then the stages and mummification. So, huge stage there. That's really neat. And then some more activities. So that will be for her ancient Egypt. And then I got this from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'll be giving the kids, uh, depending on their grades, which they do really well, um, each uh, time it comes around to be on the honor roll, um, just like they would if they were in public school. So I got these at the Dollar Tree. and. There's, let's see how many, it says it contains 15 of them in there. So that'll get us through the entire year. This is another ancient Egypt. I saw a lady uh, showing this and I was like, that's a good idea. I want to try that. So this will go to her ancient Egypt. It's just uh, cooking and world cultures. Well, now I'll sit down and go through this because we obviously won't do everything in the book. So I'll just decide what we can do and make it a little fun for them and show them how they do that. So that's fun. Stuffed ketchup, cabbage leaves. This I got for free. If you go on to JCPenney and if you download their app and put your, um, or sign in to so start, you know, create a login and link a credit card, obviously to it, just like you would any other app that you purchase off of, Kohl's, Walmart, whatever. Um, they give you $10 in rewards points. So I took that $10 and this was actually 
$10 even, and there is no minimum purchase. So I got this for my four-year-old. Um, my seven-year-old could put it together if he wants to, and obviously it'll help him learn how to spell four-letter words. But um, it was free, I was absolutely free. I had it shipped to my local store. If you pay for shipping to your house, and obviously you'll pay for just that, but I had it shipped to my local JCPenney, and I went and picked it up, and it was zero dollars zero cents it was absolutely free so you can't beat that it comes with 10 four letter words and 10 three letter words and obviously with the picture and they figure out what the word word spell so that's that's an awesome awesome buy for me i have watched a couple videos of women who use the charlotte uh, mason curriculum and i thought that this was so neat to add to my high schoolers uh, curriculum so we kind of threw that in there in one of our specials that he will have twice a week so this is the picture study portfolio of Michelangelo and I'll kind of let me open this up and show you how this works so they give you um, all these 8 by 10s of his work and um, then you go through the book here and I'll show you oh I'm dropping them There's David. Sistine Chapel. Okay. So then you go through the book and you learn about him and learn about his artwork and um, different things like that. It says how to use a picture study portfolio. So then it goes through and um, goes through the Michelangelo uh, picture study. So it's. Um, really cool I think this will be an asset for my older one to have learned and that goes right along with good with his grade level I think um, now my daughter will probably kind of listen along and go through this as well but she's only in seventh grade so and I cannot close this oh well okay so and I got these from the dollar spot at Target and they're just um, little wall decals and you can stick them on the wall. And I got them for my four year old to help him learn his shapes and they're in color too so I can point out the ones and ask him what color they are and what shape they are and so that's cute. Let's see what else I got in here. I got these and I will use them for their rope ties. They were a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I have not opened this yet. But I will tell you, because it is really taped up here, and you know what, I'll just have to, I think I'll get this out in, a, in another video then, but that is the, the honeybee candles for our honeybee lessons. But this was from the Dollar Tree as well. It's just a bunch of stickers for the, when I grade their work. And the bottom of the barrel here, you get into this box, okay. And these are the I survived. And thank you for uh, the lady that left a comment on my page um, for telling me to check out the I survived book. So I've got the I survived uh, the shark attack of 1916. I survived the sinking of the Titanic 1912. I survived the Nazi invasion of 1944. I survived the Battle of Gettysburg of 1863. And I survived, I survived, <clears throat> sorry, the bombing of Pearl Harbor in 1941. I also ordered their newest one. I don't know if all this has been blurry as I've been showing you it, sorry. I also ordered their newest one, the I Survived the Revolutionary War, um, but it doesn't actually come out until like, I think August, August 28th. So um, it is on back order, so I won't get that until it actually comes in. I only paid a couple bucks for each one of those. As a matter of fact, the brand new one that hasn't come out, I paid $1.98 for it. So that was really cool. Um, I saw a lady on um, YouTube showing this, and it is a wonderful book. Probably the most, the most informative nature book that you could, could get. And it goes through so many things. And actually just... I mean, it goes through weather. Um, oh, there's your photography there. But it goes through uh, being prepared, um, a naturalist kit, climate change, uh, the forest year. I mean, it goes through so many things. Um, great pictures. Uh, great. Just a great, awesome book for your 
for your nature class or you want to add in into science and different things like that. Um, so that is for that. And um, I'm going to actually take you down for a sneak peek of our um, basement. <laughs> Can't believe I'm doing this. I'm so embarrassed over our basement, but we are redoing it into our, see my lovely, my lovely new stairs are underneath, but these are the tread that we've put down to come up and down. So this will be our new uh, toy room and our homeschool room. As you can see, there'll be a bedroom back there, but this will all be redone into a um, school room and a toy room. This will be done over here. So it'll be huge and nice and wonderful for us. But at the moment, it is a huge mess and a thorn in my side. So, um, but I cannot wait. Uh, but we, as you can see, we are about a couple weeks behind. So hopefully we'll get that done. And then you can see the lovely schoolroom that it will become. But thanks for watching. See ya, bye.